Hello, this is Ben Moore, Finance Manager for the Office of Community Assistance, and this video will help walk you through budgeting with the Training and Technical Assistance line. Uh, the line I'm covered in this video will be 402, which is Training and Technical Assistance. The costs outlined in this video address what can be budgeted with the Training and Technical Assistance allocation assigned to only these grants, CSBG, DOE and the HHS weatherization grant. Since each uh, grant has separate requirements, we will address them each separately. For the CSPG grant, the costs that can be included in this line item include registration fees to attend training events or conferences, travel expenses not to exceed federal rates to attend conferences, um, the lodging, the per diem, the mileage, the transportation, etc. The cost of consultants hired to conduct training and cost for training materials. For CSBG, the entire allocation must be budgeted on line 402, which is the TNTA line, the excess of training and related travel amounts above the allocated TNTA amount should be budgeted on uh, the, the following lines. For travel, uh, which includes lodging per diem and transportation to conferences or trainings only, uh, those should be budgeted, that excess should be budgeted on lines 103 or 303 accordingly. For consultant costs uh, hired to train staff, those should be uh, budgeted on 107 or 307 if uh, the cost is too much to be accommodated by the TNTA budget. Uh, likewise, training and education, which includes registration fees and training materials only, uh, that, that excess should be budgeted to lines 112 or 312. Please note that these remaining costs must be divided between the 100 and 300 line items based on if the staff are paid from program support or administration. Uh, do not include non-training related travel, uh, for example, travel between the main office and the outreach sites. That should not be budgeted in TNTA. It should be budgeted in the regular travel lines. Do not include salaries and fringe. Salaries and fringe must be budgeted in personnel 101 or 301 and fringe 102 and 302. Also, do not include food costs for staff training. Uh, for CSBG TNT, the minimum requirements for the cost rate detail are that you must clearly itemize the cost budgeted for each conference or training. Please refer to the examples provided in the training and travel videos in this series. Uh, the minimum requirements for the narrative section are that you must list individual conferences or trainings budgeted and the number of staff attending each. You need to provide registration fees, lodging, per diem, and transportation costs per person for each conference or training. As far as the weatherization DOE and HHS uh, weatherization budgets, the cost that can be included in the TNTA item, TNTA line item for these grants are salaries and fringe benefits of weatherization personnel when attending and traveling to and from weatherization related training, registration fees to attend training events or conferences, travel expenses, and not to exceed the federal rate again, to attend conferences that would include lodging, per diem, mileage, and transportation, and any other uh, reasonable travel costs. Cost for training materials for in-house training. Uh, you could also include salaries and fringe for weatherization trainers. Uh, or cost for facilities used exclusively for weatherization training. For the weatherization grants, DOE and HHS, the entire TNT allocation must be budgeted on the 402 line. Uh, any excess of training and related travel amounts above the allocated TNTA should be budgeted on the appropriate uh, budget category. For example, if there is travel that cannot be accommodated by the allocation in TNTA, that should be budgeted on line 103 or 303. Uh, that would include the lodging per diem and transportation for conferences and training only. For training and education costs that can't be accommodated by the TNTA line, those should be budgeted in line 112 or 312, uh, and that would include registration fees and training materials only. These remaining costs must be divided between the 100 and the 300 line items based on if the staff are paid from the program support or admin. 
Uh, one thing to remember is that you should not include non-training related travel on your team TA plan. For example, travel between the main office and outreach sites should not be budgeted in the TNTA line. For the weatherization of the grants, DOE and HHS, the TNTA budget line item, the minimum requirements for the cost grid detail would be that you need to clearly itemize the cost budgeted for each conference or training. Uh, please refer to the examples of these provided in the travel and training videos. Uh, that are also available in this series. The minimum requirements for the narrative section of the TNTA tab are that you need to list the individual conferences or trainings budgeted and the number of staff attending each. Uh, provide registration fees, lodging per diem, and transportation costs per person for each conference or training. That concludes this uh, video on the TNTA budget line item. Uh, please remember that there are separate videos available as guides to completing each of the individual cost tabs in the budget spreadsheet. Thank you for watching.